Hi, my name is David Pye, Portfolio Advisor for Building Services Engineering here at City and Guilds. I'm going to introduce you to the Sampiel Curriculum Plan for the Level 3 Advanced Technical Diploma in Plumbing. Looking at the Sampiel Curriculum Plan, you'll see three terms shown in red, blue and green. The purpose of this sample academic planner is to highlight the key dates that you will need to prepare your learners for their final assessments, ensuring that your delivery model fully prepares the learners for the practical and synoptic assessment and knowledge test. There will be two primary methods of assessment. Firstly, the synoptic assessment marked against assessment objectives, and secondly, the written end assessment which will confirm the breadth of knowledge and understanding. The units in the Plumbing Technical Diploma are 331 Cold Water System Planning and Design, 332 Hot Water System Planning and Design, 333 Central Heating System Planning and Design, 334 Sanitation System Planning and Design, 335 Environmental Technology Systems and 336 Site Procedures and Planning. Looking now at the Academic Planner. Term 1. To prepare your learners for these key assessment dates, we would suggest you deliver in the first term hot and cold water units alongside each other, embedding site procedures and planning during technical delivery. At the end of the first 12 weeks of learning, we suggest a formative assessment to ensure the learners have understood the content so far. This would enable you to start delivering central heating and sanitation in week 13 just before the end of the first term, Term 2. In Term 2, we suggest you continue to deliver central heating and sanitation. In Week 19, you can complete the sanitation unit and formative assessment to help measure the learning so far. Continue to deliver central heating and introduce the environmental unit working towards a formative assessment of each module by Week 24. In Week 18, City and Guilds will release the requirements for the final synoptic assessment. This window of opportunity is now open and you will have 12 weeks for your learners to complete this practical assessment. But we suggest you wait until week 26 to start the synoptic assessment to allow for completion of delivery and preparation for assessment. These results need to be submitted to City and Guilds by week 30. Term 3. Week 25 will be the first opportunity for your learners to sit the externally set and externally marked knowledge test, with week 33 being the second opportunity. Results of the first sitting will be communicated back to the centre by week 30, so learners will be notified in advance of the second and final opportunity before re-registration is required. Learners will be available on this curriculum plan to sit the synoptic assessment from week 26 to week 30, which will allow some time to support the synoptic preparation by completing firstly some sample assessments. Week 30, centres are required to upload results of the synoptic assessment. Learners then have an opportunity for the employer involvement requirement of the qualification, work placement opportunities and revision towards a reset if required. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you would like any further information, please contact me or your business manager, or you will find more information on our website, www.sittingills.com forward slash setback. Thank you.